The Role of Emotions in Clinical Psychology Audience The audience of my presentation included clinical psychologists who regularly assist clients with emotional regulation, interpersonal relationships, generalized anxiety disorder, and athletic performance. Emotions and Visual Perception Koro Benikov et al. found an inverse relationship between anger and visual perception for athletes. Anger hindered the visual perception of athletes and thus caused a deterioration of their performance. A clinical psychologist can assist an athlete with their visual processing through teaching anger coping mechanisms. Furthermore, clinical psychologists can assist clients with improving their information processing by discussing their feelings. Positive and Negative Emotions St. Martin et al. discovered that the emotions of athletes were significantly correlated with their performance. Olympic swimmers associated functional cognitions and positive emotions with their best performances. Furthermore, the athletes reported dysfunctional cognitions and negative emotions with their worst performances. On the day of their best performances, swimmers indicated applying imagery, breathing, self-talk, and music to manage their cognitions and emotions. Based on the findings, the researchers suggested individualized and task-specific mental preparation for clients. Emotional trade-off decisions. Clinical psychologists could ask clients about the impact that a decision would have on the client's life. A self-relatable description that would correlate with a high emotional trade-off decision. People were found to put forth more effort in problem solving and had greater accuracy when explaining how the problem related to them directly. Emotions and Relationships Clinical psychologists could advise clients to focus on their emotions when making a decision. Researchers found that a person was likely to modify their behavior based on the feelings from an earlier experience. For example, a man who experienced rejection would most likely be more cautious about diving into relationships going forward. Additionally, a man without the knowledge of love's intoxicating influence may jump from one relationship to the next. People turned emotional behavior abstractions into mental parameters that influenced other functions. Through the emotions connected to information processing, people modified their behavior moving forward. Generalized Anxiety Disorder Kiaris found that people with Generalized Anxiety Disorder GAD, exhibited different brain functions out of a desire to avoid loss. The pathological worry of those diagnosed with GAD is linked to executive functions to prevent loss. Relative to those without GAD, those diagnosed with GAD had cognitive processes that shortened their reasoning processes when confronted with anxiety-inducing content. A clinical psychologist can aid people with GAD to take deep breaths when faced with anxiety-inducing content and inform them of a tendency to overestimate the chance of a negative consequence rather than the chance of a positive one. Headlines 
Clinical psychologists can warn clients, especially younger ones, with a tendency to be more impressionable about the effect of their emotions on their information processing. Whether positive or negative, the phrasing of headlines influenced people's judgments more so than the credibility of the media source. Rohr and Ventura described that emotion-focused stimuli could influence people without knowing what has occurred. Educating clients on the findings, clinical psychologists can caution clients about the human tendency to make interpretations based more on their emotions than knowledge of source credibility. The awareness of such conclusions could assist clients with making more rational and fact-based analyses. Advertisements Advertisements also influenced the information processing of people through appealing to emotions. Without people being aware of the music's emotional effect, liked or disliked music shaped people's product choice. The intention of this presentation was to inform clinical psychologists of the importance of emotions for their clients. Clinical psychologists who regularly see patients with generalized anxiety disorder should keep in mind certain facts when advising such clients. A person diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder would be more likely to have pathological worry than someone who was not diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. Therefore, a clinical psychologist could assist the client in dealing with anxiety-inducing content such as a work stressor by teaching coping mechanisms. Such coping mechanisms could be deep breathing and listening to music. Many clinical psychologists also work with athletes in the field of sports psychology. The visual perception of athletes was correlated through their information processing. The sensory systems of the brain were involved in the visual perception. The nervous systems, afferent and efferent parts, were instrumental in the visual processing experience. Olympic swimmers who performed very well and their important performances reported positive emotions both during their training periods as well as during the event itself. Olympic swimmers who performed worse at the actual event reported negative emotions during their training experiences. The Olympic swimmers who experienced a great amount of success or positive emotions during their Olympic experience stated that they practiced mechanisms such as deep breathing, listening to music, relaxation, and imagery. Through visualizing the number of strokes that were needed to complete a swimming race, an Olympic swimmer was able to experience a positive emotion. Such Olympic swimmers reported positive emotions occurring during the event itself. A clinical psychologist working with an athlete who reports difficulty with performance could recommend such mechanisms. For example, an athlete who reports having negative emotions during their performance and training could gain help from a clinical psychologist. The clinical psychologist could advise such an athlete to practice deep breathing, imagery, and listen to music prior to both their training and 
their actual event. Based on the information found in the scholarly articles, such practices could alter the outcome of the actual event. For those involved in interpersonal relationships, emotion played a great deal. As was mentioned earlier, a man who experienced the negative emotion of being rejected would be more cautious moving forward than a man who did not. A man who jumped from one relationship to the next most likely did so without the knowledge of love's intoxicating effects. When a clinical psychologist has a client who seems or has reported to be making a decision based on their emotions, a clinical psychologist can ask the client how they are feeling at the time. Through such questions as what feelings or emotions are leading you to do such an action, a clinical psychologist can help the client ascertain the reasons for why they want to do something. Such a dialogue can assist the client in making healthy life choices. Anger was found to be detrimental to athletes as well. Anger was found to be inversely correlated to the performance of top tier athletes. Anger coping mechanisms or anger inoculation can be taught by clinical psychologists to athletes. Headlines had a huge impact on people's emotions. When given numerous headlines, people tended to gauge the headlines more so on the positive or negative emotion that it arose within them rather than the credibility of the source. Such a fact could help clinical psychologists in their discussions with clients. When a clinical psychologist is seeing a client, especially a younger client, prone to be more impressionable, the clinical psychologist could advise the young client that advertisements, headlines, were designed to appeal to emotion. Therefore, instead of making a abrupt decision, such a client could make an informed decision. The client would have the tools afterward to retrieve information in a more responsible manner. The emotions of clients were imperative in the many examples and approaches provided. Through focusing on the emotions of clients, clinical psychologists can guide their clients to positive outcomes. Whether the client might be an athlete, a person involved in an interpersonal relationship, or someone faced with a major life decision, a clinical psychologist with knowledge of emotions can greatly assist the client. Through educating clients, about their own emotions as well as the role emotions have in relationships and in everyday interactions, a clinical psychologist can lead the client to a healthy lifestyle. Since positive and negative emotions were correlated with better and worse performances, emotions proved to have a significant impact on clients' physical reality. 
Thank you.